Welcome back. Let's continue our journey through Ruckwin. So, last we'd met up with this crew. We explored quite a bit of the cave. Sub bonus. Hey guys, good to see you again. Remember, stay strong. Don't let ever, anyone ever tell you you aren't good enough. Hey! Yes, yeah, so last time we were exploring this cave without the map. And that's a bit silly because the game does give you a map. But I assume the map is, I don't know, for folks that need it. Folks like me. See, so we helped out the friendly feet. Shimeji the Mushroom has some opinions about sunlight. I hear ya. Yeah, this is like way too bright, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, we escaped some uh, creatures down in this cave. I forget what remains to be done still down here. Um, well, there's the map. So yeah. Uh, there's something about stepping on good mushrooms or bad mushrooms, but I don't fully know which way we're going. Um, let me put the link to the website project into the chat room, because I just realized we're showing the wrong link there. And yeah, this, is the center door open? It's not. So... Okay. Oh, there's two levels to this map, too. I seem to remember we went up and down quite a few times, but I am a bit lost still. The map isn't fully clarifying matters, however. Um, can you help me? I'm a glow shirt. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately, I've been having trouble with my charges. Probably all that stress from work. Just gotta take it easy and make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Okay. What are you? Oh, I'm Cape Bud. Not quite fully grown yet, but I'm getting there. So good. So we want something that can cut away uh, those little bamboo-like things. Yeah, we had to solve this puzzle here last time. But, and I think we were just about to make progress on reaching something. Oh, wait, I thought I was going to step on a mushroom there. Apparently not. So, I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, we solved this little mushroom mystery. They tell you what their number is. And they tell you it's somebody's birthday today. I don't remember getting a birthday cake. Did you get one? But, yeah. There's... I don't know. Just gonna have to keep stepping around until we find our way through this cave. Wait, am I not supposed to step on these? Maybe I already stepped on it. You already helped two of my feet. Thank you. I think it was the one to the west that was presenting us the most challenges. So, I like this too, by the way. It's calming. <laughs> you want to use Sela Apple from the Sela Cave Tree. Some people just know what they need. I'm not going to be like that when I grow up. I'm going to be a golem on the moon. Uh, I got news for you. <laughs> golem child. No, you're going to be exactly like that other golem when you grow up. That's just how golems are. It's good to have aspirations, but it's you can't really deny your own nature. So, we'll see how it turns out. You suppose there will be a sequel to this, and so we'll find out if Golem Child uh, ends up like that. Oh yeah, the Truffalos got chased off. What are the envoys? They're between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. The 
but some of them have grow overcome with bad energy, fear, anger, hatred. It's those you have to watch out for. I'm a cave bud. Along with the mushrooms, flowers, and mini wadis, we help keep the forest running. Any more questions? Nope. Golems are always roughhousing. It's a major problem down here. Alright, so... Yeah, we're still trying to find some items so we can cut our way through things. Yeah, the pig chased off the creatures here. Uh, golems are still having a bit too much of a blast. Western water flow switch. You know, I appreciate the use of a sign. It might not be the most artistic thing that we find in this cave, but it sure helps us find our way. If everything had to serve the purpose of art, we'd always be lost. Um, oh, so this top path doesn't connect down to this. We've been up here already, too. So... We haven't found a loop yet. Yet we were able to jump across all of these and completed that little puzzle. And that's super cute. It must have been Havoc on the developer to program. That was a super cute puzzle. Um, oh, Onion really likes our hat. Thanks. Was it... Did I make the hat, or was it my mom who made it? Or maybe it's ambiguous. Oh, you're seeking the stirrup. A wonder of wonders. I thank thee for thy gift. Fare thee well, my friends. Don't know what that accent was for. Also, the foot says fare thee well, but we're the one who chooses to leave. So, yeah. I'm reminded of another RPG Maker game, which didn't have a run button, and seeing Dark Twinge uh, press a turbo key on the emulator. Alright, so we still can't make our way up here. Oh yeah, we still have to drain both. <laughs> There's two drains for that pond so that we can get to the tools. This guy wants an apple. But to get to the apple, we'll have to be able to drain... Oh. Hey! You might have a Sela apple. Oh wow! I'm so beautiful! My feet tell me you helped all of them. Because you gave them the sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree in like two minutes. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, to say thank you, I want you to have one of my fruit. We got a singular Sela apple for our many, many endeavors. All we get is one Sela apple. I wonder, can I eat it? Item. I can't eat it? Fine. And I was hoping I could eat it and ask for another one. I smell Sela apple. Ah, oh, fine. If we must. Oh boy. It's what they needed. Feels so different now. It's like I have so much more. Energy. Whoa. <laughs> All right. You know, the tree's the other... Never mind. You have anything more to say about that? Wow, it's like Big Brother's a completely different golem when he's full. Wait. You usually think of lethargy uh, overlapping with a person still being... I don't know, overly full. Eastern water flow switch. Oh, we already flipped... Okay. <laughs> the glow stream is so annoying. It's like, no one cares how many reps you can do, or how many dead plant shakes you can drink a day. That's... oh. It's 
sorry. It's just... I gotta listen to this guy talk about his workout routine all day long. That is hilarious. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. We're talking 1000 watts. 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. Um, that seems dangerous. I also make my own dead plant shakes. They help me put on the pounds. Yeah. Oh wait, so this is a switch. There we go. The eastern water flow switch. The lake has been drained. Great job. So... That's the eastern switch. Oh! Hey look, the lake is drained. So, now you're gonna tell me... You drained the lake! Please bring me my tools, and we'll clear that bamboo for you. Oh, that's right, we're going to get some tools to clear this area. Alright, so you step around all of the... I don't know, leaves? We found the blacksmith's tools. Now, isn't there something on the right side of this lake as well? Feels like there should be something here. You found 10G. That's apparently all that there is down here? Alright. It's a beautiful area. And I don't understand why the leaves... I don't know. They're an obstacle, but... Oh, my wonderful tools! Oh, he didn't even ask us. We were compelled to give them to him. Now, as promised, I'll clear a path, or clear you a path to Morizona's Grove. There you go. Well, I better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's going to take me a little time to get everything up and running again. So why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morizona? Hopefully, I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Alright. Wow. I like the scene set in here. This reminds me, again, of a room that we've seen in Undertale. You know the one. recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. Oh, wow. That's lovely. It really is. Who might that be? Who do you see? It looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizona's forest. Hmm. Definitely. Not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morizara if he could grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morisora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morisora's lights. 
and over him. Darkness. See, we have long shared this world with the envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately, more and more of them become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morisora sleeps, darkness subsumes his lands. We are all in danger. We all are in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. Hmm. Uh, let me, let me try to wake him for you? Ha! <laughs> My boy. Morisora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, oh, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes, I see them glowing. Each one represents a voice that's calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is most dear to her. Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you need them, if you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yeah? Shh, listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something's telling me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. Visitors, no one shows up. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to before it's too late. I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we'd go up there together. Well, 
That was... It's a beautiful forest, is it not? I see. Alright, so this makes the point, I suppose. I've said hi to them before. Hey guys! Don't forget to come by my shop! I'll make you an X! Alright, let's forget about... No, okay, let's... I guess take care of that. Is this a shop? No, this is not the blacksmith shop. This is a kitchen. Hey buddy, how's it going? I'm busy preparing food for Star Night, our village's biggest yearly event. Star Night's almost here, but I'm nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Night food. I have to prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another ten pies. Collect Sela Berries for the Sela Berry Juice. Hey! If you could bring me 40 Sela Berries, life would be so much easier. What do you say? Help the fellow out? Sure, why not? And find them scattered around the forest. Yeah, we're gonna forget about that and come back to it at some point, but... Promising things is free until you try to deliver on the promise. Welcome to my art store. I love having my own art store. It allows me to be creative for a living. Oops. Uh, okay, where's Jackie's place? Tony the Bear? Tony the Bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. I heard you helped the blacksmith get his tools back. If you're going to be around, you should come to our big Star Night celebration. It's our village's biggest yearly festival. We celebrate the unity of the village and the blue star whose light guided the first levels to Buddy's Otis Forest. But this year it's going to be tough to get everything organized in time due to the big storm we had last week. You might want to ask around and see if any of the villagers need help. So this, again, is not Jackie's shop. Yeah, Jackie reminds us um, that we want to go visit his shop and obtain some tools. I frankly don't recall where his shop is located, but it's got to be somewhere within the city you now. It's nice to wander out about a bit. is a brilliant composer who writes composes many catchy tunes. Every year at Star Night, there's a Stila Berry pancake eating contest. And every year, I win. I don't think there's anyone on this coast who can eat more Stila Berries than me. Okay, so where is Jackie's place? Okay, what's your deal again? Buddy's Artist Forest has lots of different kinds of spirits wandering around. Some of them are nice, but you still have to watch out for the angry ones. Okay. One day, I would like to join the Legal Protection Agency. Don't tell anyone this, but... I think I'm really close to figuring out what their secret hideout is. We're gonna tell everybody that you're close to finding it. Um, but no. I'm so confused. So we went down this path and explored the huts in the city. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Yeah, I... I don't know. How did I lose Jackie's blacksmith shot? It's not like I can go down and left here. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. Well, you're correct, obviously, but... <sighs> this is a game... It's not exactly targeted at kids, but it's got a very... I don't know, light atmosphere here. 
very childish atmosphere. Leap? Alright, let's try this. We tried it earlier. But, like, I don't know. Also, what a strange painting. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to find Jackie's place. It's not in the well. I can dream that it's in the well, but it's not in the well. It's not up here, because I would know if it were up here, right? Care a lot about our village. I'm trying to do my part by cleaning up for the big Star Night celebration. Yeah, I... Very thoroughly confused. <laughs> well, you viewer certainly know where things are at, because you've watched these things in sequence. But hey, this gives me an excuse to jump around a bit. But I remembered this. But like what can I do? Option seems somewhat li oh, is there a path to the right? But we don't have the tools to remove these things. Z Z Z. Z Z Z Z. We don't have the tool to remove that. Oh, it's a lovely day out. Can't object to the beautiful weather. So, it's a really calm tune. It loops about on itself a few times, and it's totally fine. So, oh, we can't interact. Oh, and we saw Mami Soda. I wonder when he's going to wake up again. So... Surely Jackie's chop shop is not in the cave, right? I feel so silly for wondering about this. On the bright side, I don't know, this cave's kind of a joyful place. Yeah. I'm so, so confused. Surely Jackie's place is not back through the door that we came through in the first place, right? No, it's definitely not in the cave. I'm sorry if I feel a bit dumb for not figuring this out. But, um, look, can we have another Stila apple? Happy feet, beautiful, happy tree. I love being a tree! Well, it's good to have something you enjoy. Healthy, even. Alright. So, we went to visit Morisora up north there. And I don't see anything more to do in there at the moment. Missing something obvious? Oh, well, it's not a fifth cat. Wait, can I talk with them over the counter? Hey, kiddo, welcome to my store. Lately, I've been thinking about getting a fifth cat. My husband isn't too keen on the idea, but he'll warm up to it with time. Huh! <laughs> yeah, these are cats! Haven't you ever seen a cat before? What a weirdo! Um, I like how the game... It's got a sense of humor. Uh, 
Wait, oh, there are two huts on the left and two huts on the right. Oh, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make a new an axe of your own. I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Well, okay, I guess that's the challenge, isn't it? Well, perhaps we break here and continue this fetch quest at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.